This is my 1981 XL500S street model, and I bought it this way. This is the speedometer, and that should be pointing at zero. <laughs> um, the screws vibrated out, I guess, and then the dial is just vibrating around in there. And I am going to attempt to show you how to take how to take this this ring here off so you can get to the inside there um, I've tried to find information on how to do this online I haven't found any but uh... what I'm thinking is you just pry you just pry this little thing here out and I've already started a little bit and then it just pops out and we'll see how that happens or how that goes it's probably not going to look pretty. There might be better ways to do this, but I haven't heard of any, and it doesn't really look like there's any other way to get in there. So we're going to give this a shot. I'm third of the way there, and uh, <coughs> as you can see, this is the progress so far from here to there and all I'm doing is just prying it up what I do is just get my handy dandy screwdriver here pry it like that and then just lift up and just just going around like that and yep just gotta go all the way around like that and then it'll It'll hopefully just pop right out. <laughs> Alright, well, I finally got the glass off. This is it. It was not easy to get off. As you can see, I really screwed it up there. But, uh, the thing was that this is this whole thing right here is just a rubber piece, and it had been sitting on the edge here for so long that it just didn't want to go. <laughs> go. I just kept prying and prying and prying, and then it, finally it came off. So, uh, I have it screwed on right now, and I just have to put it back on now, which, the reverse of taking it off, the, uh, the cover is back on now. Getting it back on is actually a little bit more difficult than taking it off. Once, when you got it off, it just popped off, but to get it back on, you really had to work it in there. That's why I have this stylish band-aid here. Screwdriver slip. So now it's back on, so I just gotta fold the edge back down and then it should be all good. What I'm doing now, I'm just pushing the lip back down and I was holding this. Yeah. Because the wire because this wire is still connected, I can't take it off and like put it on my bench press back down, which would be much easier, so if you could figure out a way to plug this wire, doing this on a bench would be a thousand times easier. And, well, just to bend the lip back down, I have a screwdriver, and I'm just, uh, it's probably going to be blurry, but I'm just pushing down. Pushing it back down all the way around. Alright, it's back on now. As you can see, it's not the prettiest from down here, but if you're looking at it like this, you know, can't even notice. But, uh, it did mess up the side of it quite good. I was thinking if I had some really fine sandpaper, I could go through it, but I eh. covered up the hole here, because that's where the trip reset was. But broke and fell out who knows how long ago. Um, putting this back on actually took longer than taking it off, and it was more annoying than taking it off. But it's back on now. It should work, finally. Everything's straight and good.